Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Workbook Lesson 236. I rule my mind, which I alone must rule. I rule my mind, which I alone must rule. I have a kingdom I must rule. At times it does not seem I am its king at all. It seems to triumph over me and tell me what to think and what to do and feel. And yet it has been given to me to serve whatever purpose I perceive in it. My mind can only serve. Today I give its service to the Holy Spirit to employ as he sees fit. I thus direct my mind, which I alone can rule. And thus I set it free to do the will of God. Father, my mind is open to your thoughts and closed today to every thought but yours. I rule my mind and offer it to you. Accept my gift, for it is yours to me. It's an interesting uh, lesson today. Uh, mind control is actually one of the most important things that uh, we could learn how to uh, use. And uh, there are, if you Google mind control, there's all kinds of articles and all kinds of uh, training. Silva is one of the, uh, I think is one of the uh, popular uh, forms of mind control. Uh, as I recall, I'm Googling that to be real quick. I could be wrong. Uh, hang on a second here. Let me pause this record. Okay, yes, I was correct. It's Silva, uh, Silva Mind Control Method. Um, I'm not promoting that. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that there are uh, various methods of mind control available. Uh, and uh, I did my own uh, method of mind control back in um, 2008. And I'll share that with you briefly. Uh, it's very simple what I did. Uh, and yet it's made an enormous uh, difference in my life. So I know that this is a valuable thing to uh, undertake. I simply took a sentence out of the book, The Secret. It's a 10 word sentence. I'm whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. I wrote that sentence on um, either three by five cards or even uh, smaller, like blank business card size cards. Now, what I did for myself, because I had the ab ability to do this, I printed them uh, with a nice background and I laminated them so that they wouldn't get beat up and the ink wouldn't run. But none of that is necessary. You can you could do it on pieces of paper. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, but you basically, what you're trying to do is break your normal patterns the normal patterns of, of daily uh, mind, monkey mind, which is uh, one term for it. But you know, we have uh, something like 60,000 thoughts a day. Most of them are useless. Many of them are repeats of uh, other conversations that you've had at other times. Many people, most people spend a lot of time with their mind running all kinds of scenarios or historical moments. He said, she said stuff. It's really kind of crazy if you actually were to try and monitor the thoughts that are going on in your mind. And what you want to do is you want, to, in order to, to really learn what these lessons and the other work that I uh, talk about to, to learn that, those concepts, you really have to break that monkey mind that just runs on its own 
and does its own thing. And so controlling your mind and your thoughts becomes one of the biggest uh, steps you can take towards a shift, towards experiencing the shift in your life. And so um, what I did is uh, I taped those uh, little things that I made with that sentence everywhere. And I put copies in all, every jacket pocket that I had, every purse. So if I changed jackets, I didn't have to worry even about moving it. There was already one in the pocket. The point being, you need something constantly reminding you if you're going to change how you're doing things. It takes, I think they say 30 days of a consistent every day making a change before you can learn a new habit. And so um, this lesson is really uh, key to, uh, to making that shift in your life and to experiencing your divinity on a daily basis, moment to moment basis. So I'm gonna go ahead, I did a lot of talking now. I think I should read this lesson one more time to close with that. Lesson 236, I rule my mind which I alone must rule. I have made a kingdom I must rule. At times it does not seem like I am its king at all. It seems to triumph over me and tell me what to think and what to do and feel. And yet it has given me to, it was given me to serve whatever purpose I proceed in it. My mind can only serve. Today I give its service to the Holy Spirit to employ as he sees fit. I thus direct my mind, which I alone can rule, and I thus set it free to do the will of God. Father, my mind is open to your thoughts and closed today to every thought but yours. I rule my mind and offer it to you. Accept my gift, for it is yours to me. So if you'd like to come up with something that you'd like to memorize and substitute so you rule your mind um, and you need some help with that, I'm happy to help uh, craft something that is short and simple and easy to remember and memorize. Um, and what I did was I made the effort to uh, run that sentence, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy, uh, whenever I was not actively thinking or doing something else. So if I caught myself thinking about some he said, she said moment, I snap myself out of it and I go back to my I'm whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. So it's a technique that worked for me. I hope it might be helpful for you. And uh, if nothing else, we'll see each other tomorrow for the next daily lesson of A Course in Miracles. Thank you for joining me. Namaste and much love.